Good morning, happy April 1st. I am going to take you with me today as we do our April plan with me, but it's gonna be a little bit different, more of like a vlog style. I am sitting here reading my Bible, doing my Bible time. This is my little chair where I do this. I've got my devotionals and my journal as well, but I wanted to share this today because this is something that's kind of been heavy on my heart and almost a mindset of I need to work to earn God's love. So I am currently reading in the book of Romans and I want to read, it's Romans 10 verse three. Since they are ignorant of the righteousness of God and attempted to establish their own righteousness, they have not submitted to God's righteousness. And I wrote right here in my Bible, I am so guilty of this, but I don't have to work for or earn God's love. It is ever there for me. And so what I really love about my Bible, I have the She Reads Truth Bible. I got the orange cover, I will link it below. It has little sections throughout that kind of like take some of the scripture and the women who put together this Bible come through and kind of put together some information and just like one, like one page is like little blurbs. And so through that, it's so nice because for someone like me, who still feels like I'm relatively early on in my spiritual journey, this really breaks things down and helps me further understand in a more deep and meaningful way. So when I was reading this, this one is titled Faith Alone and then in parentheses for real. And she kind of goes on to just basically explain a situation in her own past where she sat down was with a spiritual mentor of hers and the mentor basically just told her you believe in a works based gospel aka you believe that you have to work to receive the love of Jesus and this was so convicting to me and it just is like so spot on I mean, I'm sitting here reading my Bible. I ended up sleeping in this morning knowing how I had a busier day today. I've already kind of felt anxious knowing I have a lot of things that I need to get done today because we have a very busy week and weekend ahead of us. And I almost did not open up my Bible. I almost was like, no, I don't have time for this this morning. But I was like, nope, we're going to do it. And I'm so, so glad that I did. But in here, she says some things that I underlined and I'm going to read those. And it says, another attempt to earn my salvation through my own effort. Guilty. Okay. It goes on to just talk about some other things and it says his perfect life allows us to be justified through our faith alone, faith and nothing else, just Jesus. And then at the end, she ends it with friends, no matter what our past, present or future holds, the only work that can save us is the work Christ completed on the cross. May we call on the name of the Lord and be saved. And I wrote amen because like, hallelujah, right? So just wanted to start there today because this is very much the mindset that I'm now going to be taking into the rest of this April 1st, the rest of this plan with me as I'm chatting with you today and the rest of my April and hopefully beyond. But I need a reminder often, just like most of us do, but I had, 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 had to start here and share this with you. Bible time is done. I am getting ready to do my workout. A normal day for me looks like starting at 4 a.m. and I get my breakfast made, my Bible time done, my workout completed, showered, ready for the day, all the things by like 8.30 in the morning. It is currently almost 10.30, it's 10.25 right now. So I am obviously very much kind of behind, but with it being Easter weekend, with me having been out of town, the end of last week, the start of the weekend, a um, lot of things that are just kind of behind, wasn't here at the house. so. Today has been basically just all about prioritizing taking care of my home before I am spending all day tomorrow at the election. Knowing that that is coming tomorrow, <laughs> respecting the fact that my body gets a lot more tired these days due to pregnancy. We are officially 23 weeks pregnant at this point. I just was like, you know what, we're gonna sleep in today. It's been a very long and very emotional weekend. My oldest sister passed away on Saturday morning. She has ended her fight of struggle and is no longer in pain or suffering and as hard as this process has been we are all thankful that she is in a better place and so it's just been a lot we have her service coming up at the end of this week election tomorrow we're doing stuff with our house we're about to break ground on our house finally so that's kind of stuff is happening this week my husband and i are getting ready to start a business 
And so I'm working on the back end, like trying to create the website and do all of those things. And then on top of all that, I have my own job that I work. I'm trying to record YouTube videos. Like I'm trying to do all these things, trying to still take care of my home and prep my body and brain for the fact that I'm gonna have a baby in just a few months and just all of these things. So it's a lot of things going on right now. So as much as it would be like, easy or nice, if you will, to just like skip my workout today. I'm not going to do that because I haven't worked out actually in a few days with travel and all of that. I just didn't even bother or worry about that. We spent a ton of time at the hospital um, prior to my sister actually passing. And so I have just been very sedentary. I can feel it and I just do not like the way that it feels. Plus I'm just ready to move. I love movement. I have learned to love moving my body and how I feel. I love the endorphins that come afterwards, all of that. So got my pre-workout here just got my shoes on got dressed I just got outside and fed and took care of all the animals everything so dogs chickens my little bottle calf that I've got all of that is taken care of our air conditioner is not working right now which thankfully it's like beautiful outside so we don't actually need it yet but I know soon we're going to need it so called a repairman today so they're going to be coming out later this week I want to if you can see all of this mess right here I have slowly but surely been getting some clothes that fit me as my body is growing and I've been putting them in this box but what I want to do is essentially I want to go through and like declutter my closet that it is right now in my like normal size body if you will now granted I know my body will change in postpartum so some of these things may not be my normal anymore but there are a lot of things that I literally cannot wear right now. So I want to kind of go through my closet, declutter clothes, shoes, shirts, workout shorts, anything like that. Kind of want to go through a lot of that. And I want to put it in the bin that this clothing is currently in. I want to kind of go through and like take out some of those things that I know I for sure cannot wear right now, but that I know I want to try to wear again someday, put them in this bin, store this bin away and then hang up or put away these pieces where they go so that when I go to my closet, I'm not like, does this fit me right now? Does this not fit me right now? But instead I can go to my closet and truly just like pick clothes out of my closet instead of having to rifle through this bin. So that has been something that's been on my to-do list for a long time. I've had multiple um, Amazon orders in different boxes. I've sent some things back that I didn't like or didn't fit the way that I liked. So I have those boxes that I need to take Go recycle those. So I've got a lot to, on my to-do list today. So before I actually get started with my workout, and even though I don't have my April vision board or my new 12-week year complete yet, I know in order to help remove some of the anxiety from my brain of like all the things that I want to get done today, this week, this month, I'm going to go ahead and make a, a to-do list for today. In a perfect world, this would have already been done. I would have already had my April vision board done. I would have already had my 12-week year done but this is the dose of reality that I've been delivered and I'm okay with that. I'm not going to sit here and take away from the fact that I got a lot of family time, a lot of quality family time done the last couple of days. Yesterday with Easter, spent a ton of time with family. So instead, I'm just gonna sit here, I'm gonna write out my to-do list for today and then that's going to include making my April vision board and making my quarter to 12 week year. So we'll come into that here in a little bit, but just wanting to share and show like, this is real life. Like I know I come on here and I share and it's usually very curated. I've already got all these things done, but this is a realistic view into day-to-day -day life, what's going on right now. And this is reality. Like some months are gonna be beautiful and you're gonna have time to plan it all out. And it's gonna be awesome. Others, it's going to feel chaotic you still have the opportunity and the choice to make a plan to take action with that. And that's kind of what I wanna show with today in this video and how I'm kind of showing up for myself. So. We're gonna do that and then we're gonna go crush a workout while I kind of finish sipping on my pre-workout here and then we'll get on with the rest of our day. If only I could finish something Run straight through to the end Close a chapter dignified Okay, workout is complete. I am dressed. 
I have, gosh, it's 1.45 now, so I have spent some last couple of hours doing some other things. My workout was almost an hour long. Did a little stretch afterwards, showered, went ahead and did my hair. I am on day eight hair. Pregnancy has made my hair even less greasy. Like I've already been training my hair for years to go like days and days without having or needing to be washed. It is the healthiest it has ever been. So I know there are some people that have very strong opinions and think it's very disgusting. If that is your opinion, keep on with your opinion, that's fine. This is just my personal situation. But for a while prior to pregnancy was able to go about a week. I am now able to go literally two full weeks. This is day eight hair. I do put a little bit of dry shampoo in every single day, but went ahead and crimped it. I usually only put heat on it twice. So I'll curl it once and then maybe crimp it once or I'll just do heat one time and just let either the waves or the curls last me the, the entire time. Um, I wear it straight for the first couple of days. My hair is very, very straight naturally. So, but because I have such an early day tomorrow, I wanted to go ahead and get this done so I don't have to worry about doing anything with it tomorrow other than a little dry shampoo and we'll be out the door ready to go. So I'm going to go get the laundry, take it into the bedroom. I'm not ready to fold it yet, but I am gonna move it all out of the way. Um, just had lunch and then I'm gonna sit down now and I'm gonna get started on my April vision board, making my 12 week year and just getting some things done at my computer. But wanted to check in really quickly, doing a no makeup day. I just feel like my skin needs a break because I will wear makeup again tomorrow, all of that. So this is me in my glory at home. My favorite, I do like to get dressed. I feel like I am way more productive when I actually get dressed versus staying in like pajamas all day. But that's where we are and what we're doing. So let's do it. Sitting here at my desk, I've been here actually for a couple hours now, <clears throat> but I am finally getting ready to make my April vision board and my 12 week year for quarter two, which will be April, May, and June. And this is gonna kind of finish out my day, which feels really good. It is time to make my plans for the month of April and make my plans for this next quarter so that I know what plans I need to make for April and then eventually what plans I need to make for May and eventually what plans I need to make for June. So we're actually going to start with my 12 week year. I like to start the most broad and then work my way down to the smaller chunks. I'm printing out my 12 week year, it is complete. Now I'm just going to take all of that that is fresh on my brain and I'm going to make my April vision board to be in alignment with the goals that I set on my 12 week year, but also in alignment with the goals that I set for the entire course of the year. And then also just in alignment with where I am right now in my life, headspace, life phase, goals, all of the things. Because even though I set goals at the beginning of the year, doesn't mean that that doesn't change two months, three months, four months, six months, eight months into the year. You're allowed to change. You're allowed to feel differently. And so I definitely want to always, always encourage that. So let's do that now. Okay, and that is it. I have got it done. So I just printed out my new monthly vision board. So here is April, a lot of the same goals, updated some things like I finished the 75 hard challenge in the month of March. So feeling really good about that. I'm about to finish this lifting program that I'm doing. I'll finish that in about two weeks, a little less than two weeks. And I will start a new program on April 15th. So I've got that in here. Um, like I said, just kind of updating some of the things that I talked about, like getting out clothes that actually fit me and putting the ones away and going through some and donating them, 
trying to be early. That's another thing that I've struggled so bad with. And I'm like, now more than ever, I need to learn how to be early because once I have a child, it's only gonna get so much harder. Like I know that. So little things like that, getting back to working on my blogging course because that completely took a back seat. Some other goals with my business. I wanna run a mentorship for other women who are interested in building a business, a health and wellness business like I've done. I wanna run a mentorship this, this month. I haven't done that in months because I just haven't had the time or brain capacity to do so. But I know how beneficial this has been for me and I really realize how selfish it is for me to not be offering an opportunity for me to mentor others in that way. Um, let's see, I need to make sure and track my February and March taxes because I did not get my February or March taxes tracked. So we need to make sure and do that this month. Uh, talking about the PD book that I am currently reading, which is Do the New You. And then the next one that I want to start reading after I complete that one, which is The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry doing that, um, tracking my nutrition still. That is something that I wanted to be really mindful of, especially while pregnant, because I've realized sometimes, and I know some of these things are just gonna be pregnancy symptoms in general, but like I'm a lot more swollen during certain things than I am other things. My sleep is being heavily affected and I know in the past pre-pregnancy that food really would affect how I would sleep at night. So I just wanna be mindful of that and tracking all of that. Um, continue to try to make dinner at least five times a week, continuing with my life group, all of that. So I've got that printed out. I went ahead and printed out the smaller version. I'm gonna cut this out here in just a second so that I can put it into my bullet journal. I still have my goal to get outside, my goal of a thousand hours outside this year. And so in the month of March, I tallied this up earlier, I got 36 hours outside, which is pretty good but it helped a lot when I was doing the 75 heart challenge because I had to be outside for 45 minutes a day at least. And then another about 15 minutes is spent taking care of my animals, feeding my little bottle calf, all of that. So I need to make sure because since finishing 75 hard, I have been outside way less, like already have been outside way less. Same thing with reading PD. I have not read 10 pages a day since I have finished that challenge. So it just goes to show how helpful that challenge is for me to actually do those tasks. And so now I need to make sure that I am still being mindful of doing those things because they are important to me and I really do wanna do them. So the only other thing is my 12 week year. I did add a couple of goals. One, I put a baby prep goal, but really what it comes down to is just like kind of getting a registry set up because I have multiple people who have asked about a registry. Um, just my mindset, continuing to just be really mindful of my mindset through this journey as I am getting bigger and I am just going through all the changes and just really focusing on living in the moment and enjoying this time because I'm really enjoying being pregnant and it's flying by and I hear so many women that are just like, enjoy this like don't wish for the next step like enjoy this time and so i really want to be mindful of that so i added that on there very simple thing to do but i thought if i put this on my 12 week year it'll be you know front of mind and i will continue to focus on that and then the other one is really a lot of this behind the scenes work of this business that we are starting to grow we're also about to break ground on our house but i didn't put anything like that on there but creating the website and working on all of those things for this business that we are soon to be starting. That felt like it was really important to put on here. So 12 week year is done, vision board is done, and I'm feeling super, super good about all of that. Today has been a super productive day. I hope that you have enjoyed coming along with me. The only other thing that I need to get done is my Bible verse of the month. So I'm gonna do that right now. And we will be done with this video, but also with just the planning that goes into April, but also quarter two, since I also had to do my 12 week year. So let's finish all that up right now. 